There has been a new update in Bear Alpha, and this update is pretty big. This update is actually part one of four giant updates, and this update is the pirate update. So let's start off with the lobby. As you can see, this lobby looks so cool. In the middle, you can see a bunch of cool little treasures, a little sand castle thing. Uh, palm trees and just everything and also we can see when week two is coming out so let's jump into the shop we have a ton of new content starting up with hob is back so make sure to get hob before he is gone once again we also have a new skin being dutchman which is limited we also have a new skin being banana bear which is not limited and we have pilehead which is limited and then we also have flipno which is not limited we also have Tiki, which is limited, and we have Crab, which is another limited skin. Moving on to our social gears, we have a ton of new social gears, including Tambourine, Sword Cane, Helen the Hippo Hop 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 Hip Hop Hop, okay, Hambone, Rob's Beans, Shark's Mount, which is limited, and Summer Sparkler. And we also have two new kill effects being a plush and the ducky. But that's not where all the stuff ends. If you go to this event area, Cheat actually has free quests for us being these free, and they're actually badges which you can get right now. All three of these badges award you something different. Pirate Bear, we also have two new kill effects from this quest being Treasure Chest and the Cannon. In the shop, as a little easter egg, we also have the new Skibbity Bear right down here. If you click on it, it will go away. But we're not done with skins yet. We actually have two remakes, being the Gentleman remake and being the Cowboy remake, which I think these two are really cool. Also, these are the deluxe versions, so if I do Classic, you can still play as your classical Gentleman and Cowboy. So on screen, you can see all the items that are limited. I suggest you get all of these items before September hits, because that is when these items will be going away forever. This little treasure map up here also just puts you to this treasure hunt, so very cool. Moving on to another big thing for this update is this week's maps. If you guys don't know what this means, every week we're going to be getting different types of maps. So, for example, Animoya might not be here next week, but we're going to be getting some different map instead of Animoya. And that's how it's going to be every Monday. So, throughout this whole week, these maps, you can only play these types of maps, and next week are going to be different types of maps. Staying in the lobby, we actually have... A new button being extras, literally just click this button and you can go to the tutorial or the corridor of time. This pretty much just declutters the whole lobby. Also if you didn't realize, Cheetah Man is now here instead of over there. We also have a new thing in the settings being the UI theme, so pretty much lobby theme and UI theme has now, and are now two separate. So if I click alpha, if I open up my inventory, it's gonna look like the classic old inventory. If I click deluxe, it's gonna put me in the deluxe inventory. This new UI button also changes how the UI looks in the UR card. So this is how the alpha one looks, and this is how the deluxe ones look like. Dynamic bear chance. Pretty much what this means is once you become bear, your chances of being bear decreases a little bit. So as you can see, my, my chance right now is 100. So I am now bear, but once the round ends, my bear chance goes down to a 33%. This is just so that everyone has a better chance at becoming bear. There's also new lobby music, so take a listen. We also have a new map being Captain's Cove. In this map, this is where you can find all the free new badges. If you're interested in knowing how to get all the badges, I made a video for that. And here is the new Captain's Cove map. I find this map to be really cool. It looks really decorated, but also still feels like an alpha map. I think this map is really cool. There's a lot to do in this map, and this is probably one of the more bigger maps, but when I was playing this as Bear, I still found it 
like not too hard for the bears to kill everybody so i think this map is really good there's the cheese altar on, on a giant ship it's a really cool map and i'm pretty sure this map is actually going to be here forever so there's there's the pirate bear for one of the quests now i'm pretty sure the quests in this map will be going away but the map itself will be staying and i'm pretty sure dominator made this map so good job dominator this was really good Final Hour has also changed a tiny bit, which is awesome, once again, by the Dominator. I've been really excited for this Final Hour remake, and I'm so happy it's finally here. And here it is. This map has definitely gotten a bunch of improvements that I want to show you. So, the, the train place has actually opened up once again, and looks really cool. This time, you have to go this way, and I just find it really cool. So, here it is. Here it is. You have to go this way, jumping down here, and then you can climb up here, or you can do this cool little juke to get up there to avoid bear, and it'll put you right through here, which is just so cool. And then you can also go over here, right up here, and it's just such a cool place. You can go through this little wall. Yeah, it's, it's a really, I don't know, I really like this map. Also, the little guy who gave you something, that's gone. So now you can just simply run into anything, like, you can run into these walls and they will break. Yeah, just like that. You can also jump up here. It's such a cool map, and, like, I like it because I think the atmosphere and everything, it takes, like, it grabs it from that Final Hour remake. But, like, the layout itself, it's still the same as our first ever Final, final Hour map. And that's pretty much everything for this update. This is such... A giant update and this is just part one of four I can't wait to see what they're doing next I hope all the weeks are going to be themed I think they're all gonna be themed summer related so maybe next week I don't know guys what, what do you guys think we're gonna get next week but yeah I'll see you all in about six days for when we get next week goodbye